Hello again and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Thanks for joining me again. Well, standing outside of this room that is just filled with a poison cloud. We don't want to go down in there. At least not without some kind of protection. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to have a starry on. Trust no one. Drink a potion. And then go uh, searching around in here. Um, and maybe we'll see, maybe we'll find a vent in the floor or something like that that we could disable uh, and get the cloud to dissipate. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to send a Starion down there just in case there's like a trap or something that needs to be disarmed. Uh, he's really good at that kind of stuff. So I don't know. This is just, uh, this is just my thought here. So I'm going to search for poison. Let's see, elixir of poison resistance. This should do exactly what we want to do. Go ahead and drink that Astarion. So now he is totally resistant to poison. I'm gonna split my team up. And um, why don't you go looking around down there, dude? See what you find. Uh, first, we'll just go ahead and loot this body. Five gold pieces. I grant you permission to loot the bodies, Astarion. Uh, a bottle and a gold piece. Uh, there is a um, greater zombie. I guess they're kind of like laying on top of each other here. This greater zombie and zombie. We'll try this. That zombie has nothing on him. What if we? Um, what if we went around this way? Can we go this way? Right. I swear, every time I feel like I'm being smart, I do something stupid. All right. Should have sent Fox. I should have sent Fox. Well, Fox, give him the, um, the lantern. There, he's got the lantern now. So he can walk around in there. Without getting hurt. Oh, but the problem is... Oh, good grief. As soon as I walk away from my team, my whole team is going to get hurt. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Ah, oh, jeez. Um, well. So much for that idea. So much for that idea. I mean, unless I just have him, you know, just inch a little bit forward... Not enough movement. What do you mean not enough? Oh, it put me into turn-based mode. Um. Ugh. I mean, I, I could at least loot these bodies, but what I really want to do is see if there's a way to turn off this poison. I feel like in the past I've, like, thrown fire into a poisoned area to get the poison to go away, but I know I threw some... You know, like smoke powder bombs down in here, and it didn't make the poison dissipate. Man, I am seeing nothing here. And I don't think... I mean, I feel like... Can he even walk any further in here? Yeah, see, now the team is all like... Meh, shadow curse. Meh, meh, meh. You know, they're all whining. Um, doggone it, man. Um... What do I do? What do I do? They can't walk down in here because of the poison. He can't walk around in here and explore. Here's a vent right here. Well, team, you're just going to have to deal with it. All right? You're just going to have to deal with it, team. I'm sorry. Well, hello. The dust has been disturbed here. Someone's been using this door. So, yeah, he's going to go ahead and... <laughs> with critical success... <laughs> Yeah, he don't mess around. Okay, there we go. Um, however... Hmm, there's still poison over here. Ah, shoot. Oh, there's another one right here, okay. But he doesn't have enough, um, movement yet left. So what I could do is have him do a misty step get him back. Let's just, well, let's just have him go right 
Is that close enough to the team? I think this is close enough to the team. Uh, uh, let's just have a misty step right here to be safe. Okay, so the team is happy. They're not shadow cursed anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and end turn-based mode. I really thought these vents would um, show up like when I press this button, but uh, they do not. Okay, so let's go over here and disarm this one. Team might freak out again. Yeah, they're gonna freak out, that's okay. Let's go ahead. I'm really glad that I sent him in here. You know, he has by far the best chance of disarming these. Okay, is that good enough? No, there's still poison over here. Um, let's see here. I need to find. There it is, right there. Okay, let's um, let's have him walk over here. That should be enough to get the team out of the shadow curse, and indeed it is. He did walk through some acid though, but he'll be okay. I'm gonna exit turn-based mode, and we're gonna disarm this. <laughs> okay. And he did another critical success. Golly, man, this guy, he, he just can't lose. Okay. More poison over here, but at least the team can kind of come into the room a little bit. Uh, I don't like this being here, though, this acid that I think this is um, Gale's doing. I think he might have shot one of those acid arrows in here. Um, I mean, I don't think I have any water on anybody because I usually just send that straight back to camp. I have holy water and the water sparkers, but I do not have any water on me. Holy water. This small flask explodes on impact, damaging nearby fiends and undead. Doesn't say anything about it washing away acid. But, um, team's just gonna have to deal with it. Okay, so we... Okay, cat, walk in the acid. Uh, we have to need to find the next... vent for Astarion to disarm. Where is... Oh, there it is right there. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, let's, let's split the team up. Let's see if that's... Uh, close enough for the team. Okay. Disarm, please. Okay, the team is still in the light, it looks like. Another 14 here. Oh, I saw that and got nervous, but uh, we're good. Another 25. Okay. Dissipated that. Alright, team. Walk over there. Oh, poison cloud. What? Poisoned. Is there another poison cloud? Well, the dog is poisoned, but he's no longer poisoned. Okay. Okay. Um, well, the dog seems fine. Everybody seems fine except for Fox, who got hurt in that fight. It's so dark in here, man. There is yet more poison to deal with in here. Wow. Wow. This is the most poisony place we've ever been. There's some double doors here. Who knows where they go? Well, I'm excited that I'm making some progress here because there was a moment where I didn't think we were going to make any progress. Need to find the next vent on the ground just by moving our cursor around. Let's move a little bit further into the room. Uh, let's see here. Where... Is the next vent right there? There it is. Okay, uh, let's move a little bit further in. Oh, oh, what? Huh? Poison? Okay, whatever. It doesn't look like there's poison there, but you, you do you game. Um, the next vent. Where was it? Right here. Please disarm that, Starion. Thank you. It's basically a sure thing. Of course, I probably just jinxed myself, but... Nah, we're good. 23. Got rid of that poison. Okay. Any more poison in here? I'm not seeing any. Oh, there's some up here. Okay. 
And you know I want to go up there and explore that. Okay. Let's see here. Where is the next one? Just moving my cursor around. Oh, there's a charred corpse over there. Hmm. Is it safe to walk back this way? Okay. We've got a door here. So if I want to get up there, I'm going to have to walk over here. Huh? Okay, weirdos. Another door here. Okay. Poison down this hallway here. vent anywhere. I mean, it could be on the wall, maybe. And there's a part of me that wonders if it's not in the next room. Huh. Well, I'm not seeing anything. How far can a Starian go in there? Without the team freaking out. Oh, there it is. Okay, why can I not I, I thought I saw a circle there, didn't I? Oh, <laughs> no, that was the circle. I could grief team. That was the circle where he was walking to. Um, Where is this poison coming from? I don't see it. Huh. Well... Hmm. Uh, I mean, it's really just, I guess maybe just the completionist in me that wants to clear this out. You know, I, the whole team really doesn't have to walk down this hallway, right? I mean, if I could just get a starry on down here to uh, do some looting, you know, I think we'll be fine. Ooh, gross. What's that picture? Look at that picture of charred corpse. Goodness gracious, if we examine this thing. Oh, I can't examine it. I can only open it. That's nasty. Yeah. So... Oh, there's another charred corpse there. I wonder why I can't find the... the source of this poison. I think that... Huh. Alright, let's go back this way. Everybody, together, please. I think the poison cloud is actually kind of here still. Yeah, it says poison cloud right there. Yeah, why is everybody saving against get, saving against getting poisoned? Does the cloud come this far out? Because I'm not seeing it. Looks like there might be poison under there. Huh. I don't know, man. Yeah, why are we saving against a poison cloud down here? Is there poison over here? I just want to clear this out so my team can walk around. Jeez, is that too much to ask? I'm starting to think maybe it is. Let's go in this room. I don't know. Let's see what's going on in this room. Is there poison in here? There's a dead harper in here. Um, I'm not seeing any enemies. Okay. I'm trying to see if there's any vent or pipes or anything that could be pumping poison into the next room, but I'm not seeing it. Well, I hope you're enjoying leading the team here, Astarion. This is a temporary job. We like this? No, it just goes out. Sad face. 
Okay, let's search in these. I mean, all these. What? Oh. Okay. So no, that's sorry. What people mean. Did not mean to click on you. My, my apologies. That's uh, Shadowheart. Let's see what's in this moldering coffin. Nothing. Oh, somehow I switched back to Fox. Not sure how that happened. What's in here? Nothing. Nothing. Great sound effects. Don't know what's going on around here, but sounds pretty crazy. I mean, with all these coffins in here, there's got to be something in one of them, right? I mean, come on. Uh, there's an iron torch there. Great sound effects. Here's Olam's journal, and there's a dead harper here. Let's check out this uh, journal. Day two of darkness. I stood calm as Catherick uttered his final curse and then withered. As my fellow harpers dragged his putrid corpse from the battlefield, I allowed myself to feel relief, even solace. A wrong had been righted, an evil thwarted. Victory had come but I had yet to know its true cost. The darkness shrouded the land like a vast cloak. It began as a chill, as if the claw of winter had gripped us. Within hours, every breath was a dagger piercing my throat. I hungered for air like a wolf hungers for meat, yet I could still get my fill thanks to my armor. Would that the men and women of Rythwin had been so well equipped. One by one they fell, only to rise as shadows of themselves, intent on extinguishing all light and all life. The shadows hang less heavy in this place. It still takes some effort to fill my lungs, but better to expend effort than to unite with darkness. My traps should keep me safe, or at least safe enough. The traps, the poison, maybe? Day five of darkness. The shadows ebb and wane. A torch flame is sometimes enough to burn them away, but no light can dispel the deepest of them. I called my familiar Corvin to my side, but he could scarcely take wing. Tomorrow I search, and not just for food and drink. I might find a scroll or an artifact or an arcane focus that can ward off this curse. Perhaps I might even find another survival survivor. Wow, and then 13 days later on day 18 of darkness... It's a particular loneliness in these shadows. Corvin shows great affection when I call him, even as he suffers. Those few minutes are at least some comfort for us both. It is remarkably still in here, and even stiller out there. I have found a few scrolls and books near the House of Healing, as well as some scattered artifacts, but they hold nothing for me. The only answers call out from within the house itself, where I dare not enter. I hear the moans of the anguished, the shouts of the cruel. There are those who make their home in the shadows, but I am no less alone for them. Day 26 of Darkness I called on Corvin yet again, but I cannot bear his torment. Nor can I bear my own. Grey has turned almost to black, and the air might as well be molasses or tar so hard as it is to choke down. All beings should walk free of fear, I was taught. Oh, if only were I granted such a fine fate. Well, that's a sad story. Ooh, Acolyte Blessed to Final Rest, Shadowheart is inspired. Okay. Uh, Sage Stuffed Spark, Gale is inspired. Okay, more inspiration for us. So, Acolyte, Shadowheart. Um. Well, I don't even remember what we just read. Was it was it this one? I don't think it was. Um. Honing the Darkness? No, that isn't it. I don't even know which one of these we just read. Sage, uh, Gale, um. Snuff Spark, Find the Dead. Okay, this is it. Well, I don't know what an Asimar is, but apparently that guy was the Asimar, so that means that this is the one we found. Blessed Final Rest, Find the Asimars. I don't even know what that is. Uh, go ahead and take that. 
I'll take it with us. Let's look at the dead harper here. Uh, a gold piece. Agate. Uh, a vertilite ring. Encased in delicately twisted gold, this seafoam green stone is of the tourmaline variety. I'll just send that back to camp. And then necrotic laboratory spare key. I don't know where the necrotic laboratory is. Here's some research notes. Let's check them out. Spell. Remove shadow curse. Possible? Variant on remove curse slash dispel magic slash other? Recitation. Umbra recessit. Ineffective. Nox as exitus. Ineffective. Nox fit lux. Potential. Nox finio. Potential. Vita in umbra. Ineffective. Vita cava. Unintended consequences. Living armor. Gesture. A number of spell casting gestures are traced beneath. Rosewood casket here, nothing in it. A heavy chest. Well, get to work, Astarion. Oh, can we open this with the key? No. Let's pick it. With pleasure. Mm hmm. Oh, man. Man, he just gets the critical successes, man. See what's in here. Um, bided time, uncommon clothing. Time thoroughly bided. The wearer gains arcane charge whenever they are hit by a melee attack. Revenge is best served. Hot or cold makes no difference. So, um, arcane charge. While threatened, effective entity has a plus to bonus to damage with spells. Okay, sounds kind of neat, I guess. Don't know if I'll ever use that. Over here, I don't see anything else to search. Um, Tread carefully. Nothing. Nothing. Well, this room is not the source of the poison in the next room. I'm curious about this key that we picked up to some laboratory. Oh, maybe it's this uh, room down here that's locked. Morgue lab door. I don't know. Maybe that's not it. What's this over here? Maybe that's it. So, what am I going to do with this poison up here, man? I see no way to dis dis dispel it at all. Like nothing. Nothing at all. see I mean and then I keep getting people saving from poison clouds so there's some poison around here somewhere uh whatever we'll just send that back to camp yeah I don't know man I don't know what the secret is Just uh, making sure I'm not missing anything here. Huh, there's some more stuff we'll send on back to camp. Yeah, my team keeps running through poison somehow. Nothing there. Yeah, it says poison cloud, but I don't see it. Was that the cat making that noise? <laughs> oh, there's a lever over here. Well, by all means, let's pull the lever. I can't unlock it from here, but there must be a switch or a button somewhere. Uh-huh. Okay, so we can't unlock this. Locked. Okay, so the key we just picked up is not for that room that door. Charred corpse on the ground there. Severed pelvis. Okay, we don't need that. This is disgusting. Anything 
else to search. The vase over there. Another charred corpse. This is gruesome. Don't need that. So he's talking about a switch or a button somewhere. Might be in this poison area, I don't know. But I um I mean we had him walk back in there a little bit and didn't see anything. I mean, is it possible there's something on the other side of this door? Okay, we used a key. Okay, the necrotic laboratory spare key. Oh gosh, what's going on in here? Well, this is a little bit disturbing. Let's press this button and see if I see any enemies show up. Oh, I already had it pressed. Well, I don't see anything. Well, this room could hold a button or switch. What do you think? Let us enter. Burlap sack, opulent chest, potion of greater healing. Syringe, syringe, tissue and organ register, uh, carabasin's poison, surgeon's research notes. Let's check the perimeter of this room first. Anything in this face? What about this one? Whoa, what is it? What is it, Scratch? What is it, boy? What is it? Something over here? Is that blood on the shelves? It looks like a trap. Probably cold and congealed. Oof. Uh huh. Is that what uh, Scratch saw? Opulent shells. We could disarm it. Well, if anybody could disarm it, it's Astarion. He's roll of 14. That should do it. Disarmed? Now it's locked. Let's see, can we just open it? No. Never know, you might have a key. That'll unlock it. <laughs> Check him out. And we're in. Inside, Thieves Tools. 47 gold. Eversight Ring. Blind immunity. The wearer cannot be blinded. One of the relics of Deep Dwera's rebellious children, paranoid by nature, Dwera had erected a vast array of biting, blasting, blinding traps and safeguards to keep her enemies from gaining her sanctum. Of course, this also meant her children were sealed in with her by those same deadly measures. We'll just go ahead and send that on over to Fox. He can hold on to that. Okay, anything else we want to look at up here while we're here? Bottle. Books on the ground here. Skeleton hanging there. Skeleton hanging there. Got a candle on him. Nothing on that one. Let's see if this guy has anything. Nothing that I want. Um, okay, let's try this again. Go back over here. Or scratch interrupted us. More skellies. Uh, that's, curious. Oh, that's curious. What's curious? Ah, there we go. There's a lever. Okay, I have to remember that. Uh, so this skeleton has a dagger, which is worth something. We'll send that on back to camp. This skeleton has nothing. This pile of bones has a big surprise of bone. This skeleton has a bone. This damaged face has nothing in it. Pile of bones. A bone. Pile of bones. A dagger. A skeleton. Just a bottle, this skeleton. Just a bone. Pile of bones. Four gold pieces. We're rich, Ma. We're rich.
blood bank. Do we trust Astarion to search the blood bank? You know, him being a vampire and all. Can we light this candelabrum? No. I mean, we can't. It doesn't stay lit. Blood bank. Blood bank. Cupboard. Whole bunch of nothing up here. Uh, elixir of hill giant strength. Potion of superior healing. Blood bank. Blood bank log. Blood and oh God, bodily fluid log. Addendum to first, or addendum the first. It is no longer necessary to log names. Race or creature type is sufficient. MT. That's got to be Malice Thorm, right? Addendum the second. You will use either the term donor or vessel when describing a source of extraction. Victim is an ugly and inaccurate word. Name redacted. Race half elf. Occupation farmer. Cla cause of death. Extremity amputation. Extraction fluid, blood, notes, <laughs> cadaver dumped in canal, name redacted, race, human, occupation unknown, cause of death, live extraction, oh, good grief, extraction fluid, blood, lymph, and spinal fluid, notes, refused toll payment, cadaver cremated after extraction, name unknown, race, ogre, occupation blank, cause of death, fatal wounds to skull and torso, Extraction fluid, blood. Notes, corpse, confiscated by Balthazar. Ah, so that, that looks like uh, Balthazar reanimated this ogre. I don't remember the ogre's name, but we met that ogre. The list continues for many pages. Quite the list of characters, but hardly my taste. <laughs> Let's pick it up. Jar of coagulated blood, very specific. You never know, man. You might find something. A uh, potion of greater healing. Can't have too many of those. Skeleton over here. Don't need that. Skeleton on the ground. Nothing. Pile of bones. Well, I try to be thorough. I do indeed. Let's go down here into the room. Let's see, here we got surgery kit, syringe. I mean, I don't think I want or need any of this stuff. Burlap sack, let's see what's in it. Nothing, okay. Bunch of bottles, a blood bank here. One of these days, this blood bank is one of these blood banks are gonna have something useful. But not 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 today. Tissue and organ register. Um, donor unidentified gnome. Recovered bladder left lung. Cause of death unknown necrosis. Notes gangrenous skin. Distal extremities missing. Donor unidentified dwarf. Recovered left hand. Both feet brain left hemisphere. Cause of death abdominal hole. Arcane origin. Notes. Run through by lightning. Brain's right hemisphere scorched. Donor unidentified human. Recovered skeletal remains only. Cause of death. Cremation. Arcane origin. Notes. Delivered in urn. The list goes on. The final entry includes an extensive note inked in a flowing script. Catherick promised the finest of specimens, yet Balthazar provides naught but dregs for my research. A spleen here, a finger there, an intact head if I'm lucky. That bloody necromancer has kept the finest cadavers for himself. I will talk to my nephew. Whether he listens is another matter. So Catherick is Malice's nephew, maybe? If I'm reading that correctly. Here are a surgeon's research notes, which you're going to read. I discovered all too late that I was making things much harder on myself than necessary. There was no need for such complex chemical experimentation. 
no, foolish me. I ought to have turned to that which has already been perfected by nature. Fortunately, my research led me to the carapace of the carrion crawler, which contains a paralytic agent so powerful I must be quite cautious not to breathe it in during the refinement process lest I fall asleep at my workbench. Oh, Gale is inspired. Hippocratic no more. The things that inspire him. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about you sometimes, Gale. Find the surgeon's research notes. Okay. Go ahead and take those. Uh, Carabasin's poison. Do I want to take that? Let's take a look at what we just picked up here. See what this thing is. Coat your active weapon with poison. Targets must succeed a constitution, sa constitution saving throw or become paralyzed and poisoned. The base for this sticky, membranous poison was scraped from the carapace of a carrion crawler. Okay. Now well, here's a lever. An open crate with nothing of value in it. Really, you're going to run around there to look at the books, dude? What the heck, man? There's a lever there. We'll get to that in here in just a moment. Well, I think it's time to pull the lever. Let's do it. Clunk. Well, I'm going to guess that that opened that door in the other room. As for the poison, I don't know. Don't know what to do with it. I'm going to hit a five here. I'm probably playing a pretty dangerous game walking around with Fox at half health. Should probably have him drink a potion or something or several potions. I hate to use my potions, of course. They're so valuable. But uh, let's go ahead and drink it. That almost got me back up. Okay. Careful, I bind. On my way. Oh, wait a minute. There's Rosa books here. Hold on. Nothing. No more rows of books. Rows of books. Pile of bones. Oh my gosh, I almost missed that. Oh man, that was a close one. Whew. Right, let's go back out here. Um, I may never find out how to get this poison to dissipate. But I'm going to have um, Story on go ahead and walk back in here and just see if there's anything to search. Uh, I got a charred corpse here. Okay, nothing there. Um, team will just have to deal with it. <laughs> I think the dog just got in the shadow curse. Yeah. Oh, Scratch was hit for necrotic damage? Oh, okay. I don't see anything down here. <laughs> Sorry, Scratch. Scratch is dead. <laughs> He's not really dead. He's not a real dog. Everything's fine. We can summon him again. Everything's fine. Uh, okay, well. Down we go. I'm going to assume that this... Whoa. Oh, crud. All right, I forgot to take the team with me. Come on, team. Come on now. Oh, exit turn base mode. Come on. Let's go see if we can't pull this lever. What? Yeah, poison cloud, man. I don't know. Gale failed against the poison cloud, but he'll be all right. Okay, the door has opened. Oh, jeez. What in the freaking world? What is going on down here? What? Is this poison? It looks like poison. What in the freaking world? And I already used Misty Step. I'm gonna hit a five before I go in this room, man. 
is this place? Oh, there's a button here, but we don't need it. That probably just opened that door right there. I mean, I'm going to guess. Let's see. It didn't seem to do anything. What in the world is going on? How the candles work in here. This? Nope, they don't. Blood here. So what are the rules to um, resummoning Scratch? Mm, I must take a short rest. Go ahead and take a short rest. That helped. I like the idea of having uh, Scratch walk around with us. You know, he might see things. Well, that's weird. Uh, it just started hailing outside. <laughs> I didn't know it was supposed to hail. There. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we got a wooden trunk here. Whoa. I don't know if the microphone's picking that up, but it sounds like pretty big hail. I'm going to guess you do hear that. Hopefully I won't lose electricity. <laughs> what in the world? Okay, well, I'm just going to keep playing my game here. <laughs> what is going on? So, I guess these are maybe like... I want to say these are probably like scratch marks from where they've dragged, or maybe it is blood, uh, where they've dragged maybe bodies that they've thrown into the pit. Uh, did we read that somebody was thrown into a pit in one of those books? Some human, I think. I don't remember. One of them delivered in urn. Um... Yeah, okay, I don't see anything mentioned here. But I thought that one of these blood bank log mentioned something about being... Yeah, could I ever dumped in canal? Is this the canal? It doesn't look like a canal. Looks like a hole. Uh, when I move my cursor over here, it doesn't show any effect. Like, you know, normally it would say poison cloud or something. There is something here on the ground. It looks like a forearm. Normally I can interact with these, but I can't seem to interact with that one. Oh, look. Uh, I don't know if you could see it, but there's a... I, I believe I'm seeing a body here. Yeah. A wrapped up body. Over here we've got... Well, I'm not sure. Oh, there's a gilded chest over there. So we're going to do some... Have to do some... Um, Misty stepping. Oh, he's got Misty step back. Okay, cool. What in the world is this freaking place? There's a cragged rock down there, which indicates we could climb down there, but... I don't know what these fumes are. I don't know. Is it poison? Again, it doesn't say... There's hollow armor. Huh. What in the world? Okay, see, now I got a problem. Because I want, I want Astarion to, like, Misty step over here to look around, but um, I can't leave the team here because of the Shadow Curse. I don't, um, I don't have enough, um, Is that blood? light to go around. I mean, I do have this light here on his weapon, but that light will not serve them here. So, I mean, what do I do? Do I... One thing I guess I could do is just send everybody back to camp and then just have Astarion come back here by himself and have him look around by himself. And the reason I'm saying Astarion is because this looks like poison to me. And right now he's immune to poison. Right? 
I don't know, man. I mean, I could, like I said, send everybody back to camp. I think that, I don't think Scratch will survive that, meaning I don't think he could stay summoned between a trip back to camp. Um. Huh. Wow. Well, I'm going to end this episode here and think about it a little bit. When we come back next time, I'll decide what to do. It, it will probably the only thing that's the only thing I can think of. Send it, go back to camp, and then have Astarion come back here by himself. Maybe we'll do that. I don't know. Huh, I hadn't seen this show up. Arabella's Shadow and Tangle. Uh, a level one conjuration spell. Cast this. Let's see here. It says, cast this upon shadow and undead creatures to entangle them. The entangling surface can affect any creatures who move through it. Okay. So it only works against shadow and undead creatures. Still useful. All right. Uh, well, <laughs> this game just stays amazing. It just stays amazing. It's, I, I've said it many times before, and the reason I keep saying it is because it's true. This game really, I think, captures the spirit of exploration in a real Dungeons and Dragons game. It just does it. You just keep finding these places that you take a corner, you find a secret room, you find a dark hole, and you just don't know where you're going to end up. It's just, ah, it's just freaking amazing. I'm loving it. I'm sure you're having fun watching me play it, or otherwise you wouldn't be here. But if you are watching it and you are enjoying it, won't you be so kind as to let me know by leaving a like or a comment. Thank you to those of you who do that. All right, I'll see you guys again in the next episode.